these pants are on their last repair and I probably will need new. And epic ones would be a good substitute, but they are not as good. You can't get a legendary prefix by rerolling them. You can only get them while rolling gear. As far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know if this is worth it. 11 health, but they are... I'm going to repair them now for the last time because I... Because they are all about to break. Chest plate might wait a little longer. But it's also a bad chest plate. No health. I think this is a... Actually, no. Armor is good. Ha this helmet is interesting because it has legendary soul chance modifier. But I'm not building a soul chance gear and I don't need a new helmet for now. This one is pretty good. Actually, these are pretty interesting. 16 armor and 20% increase to damage. Suffixes are trash because Wither Avoidance is only useful in the Nether Vaults. An item rarity and quantity is overall good, but I would prefer health. So I am losing 11 health, but I'm gaining 2% defense. Also 10 damage. I'm going to run with them the next vault. I'll see how I feel with the more damage, less health. I'm not gonna repair those for now. We'll just see. I need to enchant them, of course. I have been busy because I've started, I crafted the washer and the, and the solution chamber, which required the ultimate control circuit. I hooked them up to the stuff they need, like washer needs water to clear the dirty slurry. Crystallizer just turns the slurry into the crystals. I haven't, oh, they have an upgrades. Not all of them, but this is still not functional. The solution chamber, as I said, it needs a sulfuric acid and I need a lot of more machines to do it because I have a water vapor to make the sulfuric acid, but I don't need sulfur trioxide. I have oxygen, but I don't have sulfur dioxide, which is made from sulfur. And as I said, uh, cobble, gravel, flint, gunpowder, sulfur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't have Larimer to make all of these machines. So it will wait for now. But it will be done. But to do it, we need to do more vaults, of course. Actually, as I'm level 50, I can now craft the melded stuff. It requires vault alloy and gold to do it. And I'm probably gonna craft a sickle. I probably did it. It has reaping. So it only should break, like, cobwebs, wool, wart blocks, I think. So it would be for mining the chest, so I would need affinities. I will add these two, because they are fairly cheap, looking at size. But to mine these chests pretty quickly, I would need to add some mining speed. And I got this jewel, legendary 7.3 for 45 size. I think it's worth. The other ones I have are pretty bad. This would be good, but it has picking. It would ruin the fact that it's a sickle. And it would also break blocks under chests, so I would get junk in my inventory, I guess. But is it worth? I mean, okay, fine. I'll add it. Let's see what the sickle turns into. Yo, it's a scythe. That looks so epic. 12 plus 9, mining speed is still low to instamine the chests. Actually, let's look for the jewels. I will scrap these ones that have unreasonably high size. I will add this one, actually. 54 for 5. I'm thinking about this one, and that will be the last one. I don't have any more mining speeds, and these one that I have, I want to keep for now at least. So to bring it down to 35 capacity, and I don't know how fast I will be mining these chests. It replaced, as always. So it has 31 mining speed. I can mine gilded and living, hopefully. I have to enchant it, of course. And I'm going to abandon my axe because I'm rarely using it and it's not that good so the melted scythe will go in here I'm really interested to see how the gilded and living will be also as I'm level 50 I'm pretty sure I'm getting tier 3 mobs now which are more dangerous so my new pants might have put me in a pickle with the less health we'll see also I have tore down a hole I want to make a new entrance to this base the, the stairs didn't match the aesthetic now. I wanted to, to have a hole. Like, if you play down or Undertale, you know what I mean. The hole. But I can't dash through it, so my plan doesn't work. <laughs> so I would have to have like a... I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll... I'm not in a building mood right now. I need to vault 
I am really, really interested how the scythe will work. Of course, I get the Void Vault, Furious Void Vault. Void Vaults have higher chance of having Echo Ores, but they also have Endermans, Shulker Boxes, I mean Shulker Boxes, Shulkers, Mysterious Mimikubes that can copy your equipment and insta-kill you supposedly when you have the shield. So, I don't know, I will try to do something here. Let's test the scythe. Mmm, too low mining speed yet. Oh, it and his picking, of course. I don't know if it's worth... It's not worth to mine the chests yet. And I think this tool is useless now. I can't add enough mining speed with the capacity of 35 for it to be able to in insta-mine the chests. I might have wasted some resources there. Oh, yeah, these are the Mimikubes. It copied my inventory and it had the shield and all this. I looted nine chests and lost some durability. Not as much because I haven't looted, but yeah, as it turns out, this tool is not useful yet. I'm kind of sad about it. Let's try again, okay? Let's try again. Ornate cave theme for monoliths. That's fine. I should have said I had a long I had a long break from playing Vault Hunters. I haven't played since the last episode. Oh, that's an ore room. Wow, two ore POIs in the whole room. Oh, this is a tier 3 zombie. I mean, not, techni not technically an armor, it's just a visual. This skeleton was dual wielding. What? He had two swords. Let's see how it works on livings. Same as gilded. I don't think it's worth. You can let me know in the comments because I really don't know if it's worth to mine them. That's a tier 3 skeleton. There's some sort of cage on its head. I'm actually going to focus gilded. As I'm always doing to find more jewels. Um, that's, that's not how it should be. Hmm, is there a bug? It's not the end of the vault yet. What's going on with this bedrock walls? It's really concerning. Did I update the server wrong? It's never been this close. I almost had to pull out my fruit <laughs> to add some time, but I, but I did it with 10 seconds on the clock. 117 chests. I'm rusty, the man. Also, levels are not as easy to get as they have been. chemical oxidizer which would be the next step because this will provide the sulfur dioxide from from sulfur so it can be placed in front of it it will output the sulfur dioxide on the back and this will get this the input from this on the front i'm already connecting them how they should be yeah the sulfuric acid will be outputted from this chemical infusion and inputted in this here will be also inputted the the ores and they will go through all of, us, all of this. So the next step after the chemical oxidizer, which I've done, will be the injection chamber because it will be turning gunpowder to sulfur dust. We have hydrogen chloride in this pipe, so we'll just connect this to here. But the main problem is the crafting and we're already out of Lerma. I will be just chipping at it when I get Lerma. Actually, the insta mining with the site might be possible when I have the haste idle because I would ha have haste 3 then. I wouldn't give up my shield, of course, but when I'm mining chest, I would just switch to it and then try to mine. I have to try it, because with haste 3, the 31.7 mining speed might be enough. I am lucky. I am looking at the community guide. I will link it in the description. And the vault tool mining speeds. And supposedly, living chests and gilded chests with haste 3 require 17 and 21 respectively. But the implicit plus 9 doesn't count, so I'm just looking at the suffix on the stuff that I added. I have 22.7 and with haste 2, so without the idol, I would need 25 for living. For ornate, I would need 29, so I would need 7 more mining speed with only 35 capacity. 
But with haste 3, it's already done. I can insta mine living and gilded. Ornates are tougher, but I don't have ornate affinity yet. So that doesn't matter to me. If I somehow got 7 mining speed with 35 capacity, I mean the jewel with 35 size, I wouldn't need the idol, but for now I will leave it as it is. I will I'll be switching to the shield. We'll, we'll test it in a second. I'm going into second vault. All right, let's test it with our haste one idol. Oh, and it's a living vault. So we'll see living chests all around. And it's a hard scavenger. All right, big test. Yeah, it works, but it bugged out. Yes. Oh yeah, that's amazing. I'm so glad that the resources weren't spent in vain. Oh, and it's a tier 3 husk. It's just a skull. No scheme. I will have to get used to the switching the idol. I haven't done it yet this season. I've been doing stuff like that in the previous season, when there were only idols with different statistics. That's so satisfying. I also need a wooden jewel, so I can mine the wooden and not, not open them, because because there are a lot of them, and just opening them is tiring. Oh, and this idol has extra reach, so it's also useful for looting. Oh, bounty complete. Nice, 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 nice. I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> Three jewels in one chest, what is this? They're all bad, but <laughs> that's insane. Oh, there's an end portal. This will be satisfying. Oh. Yeah. It's time. I have to eat fruit. I kinda got lost in the vault. Every QE adds 10 seconds, I think, but takes away 10% of my max health. Don't tell me. Oh, I. You are joking. I can't afford to go in here. I have no time. And it was next to my portal room. Okay, we're here. Six hearts. <laughs> Barely. I got lost somehow with the compass. That's not possible. 123 chest and KXP. Nice. Oh, my chest almost broke. I haven't noticed this. Sword also. Well, that's it crafting. I wasn't even able to make the chemical injection chamber because I forgot it needs purification and enrichment first. So yeah, but we're done a lot of progress. We finally got an insta mining tool, which I'm very proud of. I appreciate also every view, like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.